I think we trimmed one of the bushes. We might have, uh, yeah, I thought it was the best part of that decision was not to make the corner. <laughs> and the bush paid the price. Yeah. Here are those guys, the Ford Bronco R Baja racing prototype. It's a full-on racing vehicle, but Ford says it foreshadows the production Ford Bronco, the all-new model. Hello, my name's Paul Rafe. I'm the chief designer for Bronco and for Ford Motor Company, responsible for interior and exterior design. Cool. So tell me about this Bronco R. I mean, it's a pretty beefy machine. Uh, it's badass. Um, it's beefy, it's badass, and um, we're really proud of it. Uh, we're really drawing for the uh, Baja 1000 entrant. We're really drawing on the, uh, the story of the original vehicle, and we are teasing uh, the, how the production vehicle will, will look, uh, and that will be seen next year. Okay, so obviously, I mean, this is a modified platform. It's, it's wide, it's low. Uh, but what are some of the components as far as like body style uh, important to note? Well, it's, um, it's actually the, the correct platform that we're going to go to production with and engine as well. Um, we're carrying 37 inch uh, tires on the vehicle. Um, we're really going to go to Baja to, to test and prove out in the durability sense in that race environment a lot of the components that we're going to production with, albeit this is a race truck. But the elements that I'd like to talk about, I guess, are the, the simple grill shape, and the word straight through the middle. It says Bronco. It doesn't say Ford like the original truck. And here for, for the race truck, for the R, we've picked out the R of Bronco uh -huh. and uh, done it in red. So then as we move through the rest of the vehicle, what you see is it's a very square vehicle. It's got a very short front overhang. It's got very simple um, body side. There's, there's no great wedge and drama and dynamism. It's a very level shoulder to the vehicle. The roof's very level. The uh, A pillar is very upright. Um, overall, the vehicle's got this really uh, robust, square look about it. It's extremely purposeful, and that talks then back to the, the first generation '66 truck that we're so keen to to, uh, to bring back. So that just kind of foreshadows what's happening with a production vehicle. Yeah, or? it's it's a very light tease. I mean, this is a race truck. This is a tubular race cage with some uh, composite panels placed over the top. But there are elements on this that I can I, that I know. Uh, talk back to the production vehicle that uh, we'll be uh, releasing next year. What we've got on this, this particular truck is uh, we've got a, um, uh, an aerodynamic, a couple of aerodynamic elements both in the C pillar and also we've introduced a rear wing. Mm -hmm. This is after all an extremely high performance vehicle. Uh, because it's a race truck we're introducing or we're using some um, um, proprietary elements. We've got rigid tail lights here but we've placed them in a structural component for protection. The rest of the vehicle, of course, is all about purpose as a Bronco should be. Uh, this uh, blue tubular structure here, which talks back to that original rod haul truck, of course, you can see is containing all of the equipment that the, uh, the team are going to need when they're out in the trails. How about kind of the light element? Is that kind of production or racy or how does that work? It's an extremely light tease to the sort of form language that we're, we're uh, keen to, to bring back. And the original truck of course had you know a simple upright tail light. So yes it's a fully custom one-of-a-kind vehicle but it's using some production components. For example the five-link rear suspension. The geometry of it is similar to the uh, production model that's what Ford said. Of course the shocks are not production, they're Fox with bypasses and exterior reservoirs and bounce stops and this is one fairly amazing um, off-road suspension system. Look, Take a look at the front. Here you go, the front suspension is independent. You got the bump stops here. It's a V6 twin turbo with a 10-speed automatic transmission. And uh, Ford didn't say what displacement this is, 2.7, or 3.5, but they said this is basically production intent powertrain. the interior there's a battery system there's a prototype 001 50th anniversary badge in the center battery cutoff a lot of other controls including the fuel pumps auxiliary uh, camera etc etc and of course all the lights here's a gauge digital gauge cluster with engine coolant your gearing selector and speed and rpm 
all the vitals that are very important. Of course, full racing harnesses, racing seats, and a third place for a passenger in the back with a roof hatch to get in and out. This is a fire suppression system, fire extinguisher, a place to put two tires. That's all regulation. There's a fuel cell nozzle in the back, kind of a fuel cell located down below with a Bronco backing. There's a um, jack in case you need to change a tire on the trail. Hopefully you don't have to ever do that. Additional fire extinguisher here. Of course, LED lights. Hi, my name is Brian Novak. I'm the Ford Performance Motorsports Off-Road Supervisor. Nice, Brian. So you were involved in kind of the technical design of this. Can you kind of go over what are we looking at, the chassis, kind of the suspension bits? Yeah, yeah. So I was involved in the technical design with this, and we worked hand-in-hand -hand with Geyser Brothers uh, down in Phoenix to build this truck. So those guys have won Baja a couple times. So uh, we worked with them on this. So essentially what this is is a, is a T6 frame uh, built with a race uh, a racing rear suspension on it, the same five link as the production truck. Uh, in this case, we've got uh, <laughs> serious off-road shocks, two shocks in the back, full bypass. But like the axle, is it kind of a racing? That is a, that is a racing rear axle in this truck, yes. Uh, in the front here, actually, you, independent front suspension in this case, uh, we are using the points on the uh, on the T6 frame here. Uh, in this case, we've got some uh, uh, some custom control arms, upper and lower, uh, Fox shocks all around, and of course another Fox shocks bypass uh, shocks up here in the front. Uh, you can see the custom exhaust that was done for this car up there. So we built the cage on the frame, and then a custom body uh, designed by Ford Performance, our studio back in Dearborn, and they designed the body and, and all the placements on it. Uh, and installed it on the vehicle. Okay, and the engine, you're saying twin turbo, right? Is that, yes. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. It's a, it's a V6 twin turbo. And the transmission? Transmission is a 10R uh, stock transmission. So in this case, we have a stock motor and a stock transmission. So part of this story is going out and proving uh, the capability of the Bronco. And in this case, we're proving out the architecture front and rear is race-based. Uh, and then, but in this case, we have, a, yeah, we have a full stock powertrain in this. Hey guys, uh, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm gonna go for a ride in the Bronco R. Pardon my reach here, if you get up a little bit. Yep. Okay. No, don't pull it at all. Pull it. Let's do the fun part. <laughs> okay, fun it is. We trimmed one of the bushes. We might have, uh, yeah, I thought it was the best part of that decision was not to make the corner. <laughs> and the bush paid the price. Yeah, it's okay. Okay guys, I just got back after a ride in the new Bronco R Baja racing truck. And all I can say is, is the racing suspension is amazing. I have uh, some experience with the Polaris Turbo S with the Dynamics suspension the active valve, of course the Ford Raptor with the active valve Fox shocks, and now also the Honda Talon side by side with the um, active Fox shocks that are able to soak up the off-road bumps, but this is the next level. This racing suspension is just amazing. We're going about 80 miles an hour down this stretch of a uh, Nevada trail, and this thing just is almost as flat as can be and conquers all that stuff in stride it was pretty amazing of course it's only a racing suspension this is not a production truck we will find out more production bronco details very soon uh, spring 2020 is when ford says the production ford bronco will appear and we'll know more specifications exactly what chassis it has what kind of uh, of course shocks it will have what kind of engine transmission um, the v6 maybe from this racing version maybe 
or maybe it will be a four cylinder EcoBoost 2.3 liter or maybe completely something else. Um, of course the Bronco may also include removable doors, removable top, will likely be a Jeep Wrangler competitor. So stay tuned for that. If you remember several years ago, I think it was around 2010, Ford went racing with an F-150 racing truck. And then later on they told the public that they were using a 3.5 liter EcoBoost twin turbo V6 in that racing truck. And then that engine went to production. Maybe they're doing something similar here. What they've learned here with the racing version of the Bronco, they might apply into the production version. And I think here it comes. Let's see it. 